Hello everyone. Namaste. How are you all? Are you okay? I hope so. Now we are together again for our English lesson. In today's English lesson, we will do activities based on grade 8 English book. And we will we will do we will read reading 2 from unit 17. Please, if you have book, you can take it out on page number 222. Okay? This is reading second and here is one poem. Okay? We will do these activities. And before I start, I will tell you what we are going to do in today's lesson. Well, we will read the poem. The title of the poem is From a Railway Carriage. And based on the poem, there are activities. Okay? Well, these are finding meanings of the given words. We will read words. There are many words in the poems. They may not be familiar with you. If they are familiar, that is great. Okay? If they are not familiar, I will tell you. Okay? I will tell you meaning. Or you should guess in context. And I will also give you some clue. And we will discuss the words. And after finding meanings of the words, we will also complete the summary given in your textbook. That is summary given. Okay? But some words and phrases are missing from it. We will do it. And then next to it, we will answer the question based on the poem. Okay? And finally, after finishing the reading, reading and doing these activities, that is reciting the poem. Okay, again we will try reciting the poem together. Okay, do you like poem? Great. Let's be together for reading it and doing activities. Okay. Okay, let's start without delay. Now in the beginning, before exactly starting the poem, there are two questions. Are they? Okay. Answer these questions. A. Question A. What is your favorite means of traveling and why? What is your favorite means? Just say your favorite means of traveling. When you travel, what means of traveling do you prefer must? Is it bus, car, plane, bike? What is it? Cycle? Okay, whatever is your favorite means you can say loudly okay well other means may also be there ship may be there okay boat may be there okay there are several things and just state one your favorite one okay that's great okay now b question b how do you try to make your journey more interesting how do you do? It means while you are in journey, how do you make your journey interesting? By talking to your friends? By watching movies? Well, if there is TV, some device, okay? If there is any device, you can watch movies. Or do you want to play with your mobile? Or what do you want to do? Or Tell stories with each other or, well, any activities, okay? Singing song. Okay. Now think about your school tour if you have been, okay? How did you make it interesting? If you have been to any tour, you can think about it or you can think about anyone, your, anyone of your travel, okay? How can travel be made more exciting? more interesting. So, you can say here loudly, okay? Okay, good. Whatever you do, that's good. Now, come to the reading part. Here, you can see a picture. What do you see here? Yes, train. There's a train. Is it so? Well, and then the title, read the title of the poem. From a railway carriage. Is it so? From a railway carriage. 
Now, what is the text about? What is the poem about? Let's read. Okay. Now, as you read, there are some activities given. Okay. In the text, the first activity is finding meaning to the given word. What is given? Consult a dictionary. Is it so? So, here in your book, you can see on page number 223, activity A is consult a dictionary and find the meanings of the following words. So, finding meaning using a dictionary is given. So, we will consult dictionary as we are reading the poem. Okay. And second one we will do later. And third one, third activity, activity C is answer this question. So, look at those questions. Okay. Well, this question with the moment of the train and compare with. So, all these questions are there. We will try to find answers while reading it. So, be there, well, be ready with pencil. So, that you can just underline whenever you find answer to the given question. Okay? Okay, dear students, let's read it. Faster than fairies, faster than witches. Bridges and houses, hedges and ditches, and charging along like troops in a battle, all through the meadows, the horses and cattle. Okay, so there are new words. Okay, so fairies, have you heard this? Yes, okay, good. Now, if you haven't heard this, what does it mean? What does fairies mean? Well, fairies mean, okay, fairies mean. You can see here. So, this is defined this way. And you can also see the pictures of fairies. Four pictures. One fairy, four fairies. So, you can define now. You understand what fairy means, don't you? Yes. Fairies means, now you can define. Okay. Fairies means imaginary girl, imaginary character with wings having magical power. Is it so? Similarly, hazes. What does hazes mean? Hazes means, okay, you can see here a line of bushes or small trees planted very close together, especially along the edge of garden, field, a road. This sort of, say, haze, okay, plants, small trees. On the side of roads. Have you seen it? Yes, that is called hazes. So, how do you define it? Lines of bushes planted close together. So, that is hazes. Well, next one ditches. What does ditches mean? Ditches, it is defined as long, a long, narrow, open hole dug into the ground, usually at the side of a road or field. Okay? So, that way it is defined. You can consult a dictionary. This is a part of dictionary. And you can see a ditch here. Okay? So, multiple of these type of thing, that is called ditches. Plural form is ditches. So, ditch is here. Okay? Hole. So, you can say ditch is mean long narrow open holes dug into the ground. Similarly, next word troops. What does it mean? Troops of army, have you heard it? The troops, what is given here? Well, here soldiers on duty in a large group. So, you can see here in the picture soldiers on duty. So, you can define troops as groups of soldiers. Okay? Groups of soldiers. Troops is plural form. Okay. Now, here you can see in question, okay? In activity C, there are some questions and A and B questions are A. Question A is, what is the moment of the train compared with? So, what is the moment of the train compared with here? You can see. Faster than fairies, faster than witches means, well, here the railway carriage is faster than fairies, that is faster than witches. So, it's compared with 
Okay, it's compared with fairies and witches. Is it so? So you can underline here with your pencil and on the mar at the margin you can write activity C, question A, so that you can answer easily later. Similarly, next question is what does the speaker see in the middles? What does the speaker see in the middle? All through the meadows, the horses and cattle. Is it so? So, here you can underline with your pencil and write C, B. Activity C, question B. Answer to it, you can find here. Now, after this, after reading it, you can write answers instantly. Okay, if you underline while reading. Okay. Now, let's go to another stanza, another part. See here. Well, let me read. All of the sides of the hill and the plain fly as thick as driving rain. And ever again in the wink of an eye, painted station whistle by. Okay, here, what does wink mean? Wink. The word wink is there. Is it so? So, what does this mean? So, an ever again in the wink of an eye. Wink of an eye. What does it mean? See here. How is it defined? Wink means when you wink at someone is given, isn't it? So, wink means you can see in the picture. Closing and opening, isn't it? Well, so, how do we define wink? Wink means, well, wink means closing one eye for a short time. Wink your eye. Okay, that is it. Now, all of the sides of the hill and the plain fly as thick as driving rain, and ever again in the wink of an eye, painted station whistle by. Now, next, here, I'll read. Here is a child who clambers and scrambles all by himself and gathering brambles. Here is a tramp who stands and gazes, and here is a green for stringing the daisies. Well, there are some words here. Okay, clambers. What is here? Here is a child who clambers and scrambles. What does clambers mean? Clambers. Climbers, you can see definition here, to climb up, across or into somewhere with difficulty using the hands and feet. Okay, the feet. You can see pictures here. They are climbing. So, this is climber. Okay, climber. Okay, plural. Well, say when there is, okay, verb one, or let's say when there is subject, singular subject. Clamber become clambers, it become its. So, clambers means, well, subject singular and then clamber takes S or ES form, that is S form, okay. So, clambers means climbs. So, you can write here, climbs up with difficulties. Climbers means. And scrambles, another word is scrambles. Here is the child who clambers and scrambles. What does scrambles mean? Scramble means, see here, scrambles means, what can you see? To move or climb quickly but with difficulty, often using your hands to help you. So, this is like, okay, well, this is like climbers. Scrambles is also like climbers. Is it so? Well, and then, so this also means, okay, to have competition, see here meaning number two in dictionary is given as to compete with other people for something there is very little of. Okay, for doing something, if you compete with others, that is also what scramble. So, here clambers and scrambles, and scrambles means move or climbs quickly, compete with other people. And what does brambles mean? Brambles. Brambles means, okay, you can see here. Okay, 
a wild bush with thorns that produces blackberries or a blackberry itself is called bramble and plural is brambles you can see pictures here okay so brambles means okay brambles means blackberries similarly another word trump what does trump mean here's the trump who stands and gazes who stands and gazes looks at something probably person but what type of person trump is you can see here a person with no home job or money who travels around and asks for money from other people so this is a tram okay so how do you define okay we can define as a poor man a beggar that is a tram and another stringing stringing means well and there is a green for stringing the daisies. Stringing means this to put a string through a number of objects, okay, in order to make a garland. That is stringing. And then daisies mean daisies. Well, stringing means putting a string through flowers, and daisies means what? Daisies. Well, you can see here and here a flower. Daisy is a kind of flower, it's a type of flower, a small flower with white petals and a yellow center, which often grows in grass. This is called daisy. Okay, daisy is plural, multiple flower, multiple items of those flower, daisy. So you can define daisies as small flowers with white petals and a yellow center. Okay, now next. Here you can answer some of the questions from your activities. In activity C, there is one question. In C, question number C, what is the child trying to do while climbing the hill? Okay, while climbing, what is the child trying to do? Here, see. Here is a child who clambers and scrambles all by himself and gathering brambles while climbing. What is he doing? Gathering brambles. So you can underline and on the side and the margin you can write. You can write C, C, that is activity C, question C. Okay, answer to it. Now, similarly, another question D. Question D is Why do you think the poor man looks at the train with amazement? Why? So you can see here, here is a tram who strains and gazes. But why is given? Just think about it. Here is clue to the answer. Okay? Clue to the answer is here is a tram who strains and gazes, and here is a gain for stringing the daisies is given. So, why the poor man stands and gazes, okay, looks at the train, and gazes means look at something, well, continuously, means in amazement, why, think about it, okay. Well, next stanza, last one, okay, you can see here, here is a cart, run away, in the road lumping along with a man and load and here is a mill and there is a river it's a glimpse and gun forever okay now here lumping and glimpse two words are there they are highlighted well do you know meaning of them okay let's try okay here is a cart run away in the road Lumping along with men and load. What does it mean? Lumping mean. Lumping. So you can see here a guess from context. Here is a cart run away in the road. Lumping along with men and load. Cart running and lumping with a man and load. Lumping means what? Lumping means here you can say carrying from one place to another. 
So lumping along with man and load. The cart is carrying what? Man and a load. So lumping means carrying from one place to another. Similarly, gleams. What does gleams mean? Each a gleams and gun forever. Gleams mean this is a quick look. Okay? Quick look. Look at something quickly. Not gazing. Gazing means continuous looking at something, but glimpse means short. Well, now, who is the writer of this poem? Who is the composer of this poem? Or who is the poet? Say loudly, everyone. Robert Louis Stevenson. Okay? Now, we have read the poem. Now, let's go to the activities based on it. Okay? Now, the first activity here is a. Consult a dictionary and find the meanings of the following words. We have done it. Now, easy. Isn't it so? We have consulted dictionary and we have written. Okay. Have you written in your exercise book? Yes. Now, it's going to be very, very easy. Now, you can write. Just write. Hazes means. Now, tell me loudly. Hazes. Okay, lines of bushes planted close together. Is it so? Next, ditches. What does ditches mean? Ditches mean long, narrow, open holes, okay, dug into the ground. That is ditches. Next, troops. You have written all of them, haven't you? So, you should tell me loudly. Troops mean? Okay, that is groups of soldiers. We have consulted dictionary. We have seen the definition dictionary. And we have also looked at pictures. So, now tell me loudly everyone, okay? Climbers. What does climbers mean? Climbers mean? Climbs up with difficulties. Well, scrambles. What does it mean? Scrambles means, tell me. Okay, it means moves or climbs quickly or compete with other people. That is scrambles. And another word is brambles. What does brambles mean? Yes, blackberries. Blackberries. And trump? What does trump mean? Trump means a poor man or a beggar. Is it so? A poor man or a beggar. And stringing? Okay, it means putting a string through flowers. Daisies? Daisies, yes. Small flowers with white petals and a yellow center. Okay? Well, we consulted dictionary and found this thing. So, don't forget these words. Okay? Good. Now, let's go to another activity. Another activity is B. Complete the summary of the poem with the correct words or phrases from the box. Okay? The words and phrases are so quickly, describes, experiences, a child, faster, crosses, amazement, speedy, daisy, flowers, glimpse, and battlefield. Okay, now let's try it. Okay? Well, here, let me read the incomplete summary first. The poet presents his. Now, you should be thinking about what words and phrases to write in the blank spaces as I go through the text, as I go through the incomplete summary. The poet presents his the dirt of traveling in a train. He the dirt the signs that he notices while traveling in the train. The train moves, the dirt, then fairies and witches. It runs like soldiers in the dirt. The dirt train lives behind bridges, houses, fences, and the green fields. Next paragraph. The poet mentions that the train dirt all the scenes as quick as the drop of rain. 
in one scene, the train passes railway station that looks like a painted picture. The poet also sees that the climbing a steep ground and collecting berries. Further, he sees a homeless person who looks at the train with the dirt. As the train moves forward, he sees some ladies in a village making garland with the dirt. Okay. Now finally, the poet then sees a cart moving slowly in the highway. It is full of load and the cart driver is sitting on the top of the load. He also gets a the dirt of a mill and a river by its side. All these objects appear and disappear. The dirt. Now, you should write these words and phrases in the blank spaces. Okay? Okay, let's start with these words and phrases in the blank spaces. The poet presents his. What do you use here? Tell me loudly, please. Experiences. Good. Experiences of traveling in a train. He, what is it? Okay, he describes the sights that he notices while traveling in the train. The train moves, what do you use here? Okay, faster, good. Faster than fairies and witches. It runs like soldiers in the, okay, battlefield. The, what? The speedy train lives behind bridges, houses, fences, and the green fields. Next, the poet mentions that the train, what is it? Crosses all the scenes as quickly as the drop of rain. In one scene, the train passes a railway station that looks like a painted picture. The poet also sees what? See, a child climbing a steep ground and collecting berries. Further, he sees a homeless person who looks at the train with, with what? Amazement. As the train moves forward, he sees some ladies in the village making garlands with daisies. Well, daisies, you can also write flowers here. In text, in poem, daisies is given, isn't it? Well, that is daisy, isn't it so? Well, flower is also okay because daisy is a kind of flower. Now, last one here. The poet then sees a cart moving slowly in the highway. It is full of load and the car driver is sitting on the top of the load. He also gets a what? Glimpse of a mill and a river by its side. All these objects appear and disappear so quickly. Good. Now, only one word remaining is flower. Okay? You can use here daisy or flower, one of them. Okay? Or daisy slash flower, you can use or leaf flower here. Okay? Well, you have done it. Now let's move to next part. That is, answer these questions. Well, there are five questions. First, what is the moment of the train compared with? You have underlined, haven't you? Okay. What does the speaker see in the middle? See, what is the child trying to do while climbing the hill? Next, why do you think the poor man looks at the train with amazement? And E, what is the theme of the poem? Now, A, B, C are easy you have online in the, in the poem. You can just write here. So, what is the moment of the train compared with? Now, you can he see here, faster than fairies, faster than witches. Means, the moment of the train is compared with what? The speed of fairies and witches. Okay. Next, B. What does the speaker see in the middles? Okay, in first stanza you have underlined. See, 
here. All through the meadows, the horses and cattle. So you can write, the speaker sees, what? The speaker sees horses and cattle in the meadows. Is it so? Next, what is the child trying to do while climbing the hill? You can see here. What is here? All by himself and gathering brambles. Means he is. The child is trying to gather brambles while climbing the hill. And then, why do you think the poor man looks at the train with amazement? Why? So it's here. Here is a tram which trains and gauges. So it's not given here. He stands and gauges is written. So why do you think? Just everyone try saying it. Well, okay, I think the poor man has never seen such a train before. So he looks at it with amazement. So this may be the first time the poor man has seen the sea, seen the train. So he looks at it with amazement. Is it so? Okay. Now E, what is the theme of the poem? What is the theme? Theme means main idea, gist. What is it? Try it. Well, this is about what? Speed of the train. Okay, wonder of traveling. Is it so? You can write this way. Well, the theme of the poem is the excitement and speed of a train journey. Or you can also write, the theme of the poem is the sense of adventure, wonder, and the constant moment associated with train travel. Okay? So that way, you can write. Well, finally, D, recite the poem in a group. It's given. Well, let's try reciting the poem. Okay, let's read the poem in group. Okay, with tune. Faster than fairies, faster than witches, or how do you want to do it? With tune? Okay, let's sing together. Okay, this way. Listen to me and follow me. Okay, faster than fairies, faster than witches. Good. In this way, we will sing. Okay. Let's sing together. All of you, please join me. Okay, let's start. One, two, three, start. Faster than fairies, faster than witches, bridges in houses, hedges and ditches, and charging along like troops in the battle, all through the meadows, the horses and cattle, all up the side of the hill and the plain, fly as thick as driving rain, and ever again in the wink of an eye, painted station whistle by. Here is a child who clambers and scrambles, all by himself and gathering brambles. Here is a tramp who stands and gazes, and here is a green for stinging the daisies. Here is a cart on away in the road. Lumping along with a man and load, and here is a mill, and here there is a river, eats a glimpse and gun forever. That way you can sing, okay? Or you can simply without any tune, faster than fairies, faster than witches, bridges and houses, ages and ditches, and charging along like troops in a battle all through the meadows. The horse and the cattle. The horses and cattle. That way you can sing. Well, whenever there is comma, you can have a small pause. Little pause and then continue. Okay? Well, in tune also, faster than fairies, faster than witches, bridges and houses, hedges and ditches, and charging along like troops in a battle, all through the meadows, the horses and cattle. That way, okay? You can try singing it. 
Will you? Great. Okay, dear students, we are at the end of today's lesson. In today's lesson, we read a poem. The title is? Yes, from a railway carriage. Okay. Now, read the text again, read the poem again, revise the vocabulary, learn them, and do these activities in your fair copy later. Okay? Based on our discussion. Well, thank you very much for your attention during this class. Well, keep practicing everything well. Have a good time. Have a good story. Bye-bye for now.